Yes, people, welcome to Goals Bible Arsenal 1, Manchester City 3. What a match. I mean, what a match this was. Yes, there are still 60 games to go. 60 games to go to, to this title race to be over. But Manchester City's second half performance today has given them the clear momentum now. A huge win. Huge three points for Man City. Big players stepping up in big moments. That is, of course, Haaland, De Bruyne and Grealish. They all stepped up, especially in the second half. Arsenal are now four games without a win. This is a big trouble for Arsenal. Every time they lose one game, they seem to lose consecutively. And that is a big issue for Mikel Arteta. But they were in this game for large parts of it. I mean, they were overran by Man City in the second half. Pep's boy put their foot down in the second half, but they were in it in the first half. I thought they played okay in the first half, but the second half, they just got overrun completely got overrun and quality took over and Man City showed that why they are champions. It's as simple as that. I mean, I know Arsenal fans don't want to hear that, but that is that is the fact. That is the fact. And let's take a look at the table here. As you can see, Manchester City now equals top of the Premier League. Just a week ago, we were talking about eight points gap between Arsenal and City. And now look at this. Arsenal have a game in hand. 51 points if they win their remaining game of course they're gonna be uh, uh on top of the premier league still with three points but nothing is forgiven here nothing is given to you in the premier league it's just gonna be a, another difficult match uh coming up against uh aston villa they do have arsenal uh arsenal have Ars aston villa and leicester city coming up so those two games they have to win they just got to make sure they have to win uh, and bounce back but for man city what a result that was. It puts them on top of the Premier League, uh, 51 points. Of course, goal difference is the only uh, difference at the moment between these two. They have the same points. Like I mentioned, this this is another opportunity uh, uh, for, for the rest of the Premier League, the likes of United. They could be in the conversation now. They're just four points off of Arsenal. So anything can happen. Look, I mean, anything can happen in this Premier League. Uh, mm, it's going to be interesting to see. It's really going to be interesting to see. But what a performance by Man City. And what a performance by this guy, Haaland. Haaland has now equaled Aguero's tally already. That's just incredible. Er er Erling Haaland has scored 26 goals in the Premier League this season. Like, what? That's the joint most by a Manchester City player in a single campaign in this competition alongside Sergio Aguero in 2014 and 2015. That is a cheat code, people. Aguero has scored that already. So, incredible. Incredible. But what do you guys think about this game? I mean, how do you see the performance? I thought De Bruyne was my man of the match. Do let me know in the comment section. Who do you think is your man of the match for this game? I would give it to uh, De Bruyne. But let me know in the chat in the comment section. Just tell me who was your man of the match. Who was to blame for this defeat for Arsenal? Is it Mikel Arteta or is it the players? Do let me know in the comment sections. As always, thank you for watching. I'm just going to wrap it up here. And obviously, <clears throat> I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thanks again. And just drop a comment. Let me know what you think happened in this match is it because man city were too strong for arsenal or is it is it Mikel arteta uh, tactics is it also thomas Partey? i mean thomas Partey did not play this match he was was ill for this match so is that a big loss all these are uh could be used as a point why arsenal lost this match but they need to bounce back and they need to bounce back quickly but yeah people thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one Peace.